how's it going? Oh, hey everyone, welcome back. This is episode four. Today we're going to talk about doing math inside of Bash. It's one of my favorite topics, so let's get started. As mentioned in previous videos, the values for variables are treated as strings. So if we have two variables here, and we say something like echo x plus y, what we get is actually the values 10 plus 5 written out as if we were string concatenation. Basically, dollar sign $x being interpreted as 10 plus sign, and then the dollar $y being interpreted as 5. So the TLDR of this video is wrap this inside of a dollar sign and then parentheses like so. And when we run this now, we get the value 15. So this is how we tell Bash to interpret the value of these variables as numbers. And when we're doing this, we can actually drop the dollar signs and we can see that we still get the value 15. So that's the addition operator. There's also the subtraction operator, which will subtract, obviously, the multiplication operator, which gives us value 50, the division operator, which gives us the value two. And when we get into division, it can be a little confusing because let's say X was the value 11. When we run this, we still get the value two. So that can be a little bit confusing at first and we're gonna talk about that soon. You see the problem here is that Bash does all the arithmetic as integers. So we are basically forced to only have whole number results. The reality is 11 divided by five is 2.2 which if you convert that to an integer, it's two. Now in computers, when you're working with numbers after the decimal, these are often known as floating point numbers. And you have to do something a little bit special to work with floating point numbers inside a bash. So to show you this, we're gonna get some practice by first starting with a program called BC or basic calculator. Hit enter and they make it very clear there's no warranty. So I'm really curious what happens when we say warranty. Ah some stuff all right nothing fun but if we say 11 divided by 5 we get the value 2 but we can adjust this using the scale variable if we want two places after the decimal place we can assign the value 2 to scale now when we say 11 divided by 5 we get 2.20 so this program allows us to do some basic calculations and we can use this inside of our shell script so to exit this you type quit and the way this is going to work is we're actually going to echo and then put some expression here that the BC program could evaluate. So we'll say dollar sign X divided by dollar sign Y. And then we're gonna pipe that to the BC program. That's not all we have to do though, we have to set the scale as well. So we'll say scale is equal to two and we'll separate that with a semicolon. So a little bit more complicated of course, but let's see if we get anything special. We do get 2.2, so that's pretty awesome. Next operator I wanted to talk about is the modulus operator. So basically if you imagine doing division and seeing what's left over, that's what the modulus operator does. Right now it's zero, and that's because we are working with floating point numbers, which do not have a remainder. So if instead we switch this over to just a normal math expression, you can see we will get the value one. So basically five goes into 10 evenly, and then we have one left over. Modulus is a pretty magical operator that at first you might not see a lot of use in, but can be pretty handy. So make sure you understand how it works. There's two other ways of working with numbers inside of Bash that I wanted to talk about that you might see out there. I personally prefer the double parentheses, but you might run into these options. So let's clear this off. And we're gonna use the command expr and then we can put some values here such as x plus y when we run this we still get the string equivalent so the secret here is that if you want it to be interpreted as numbers then you will put a space in the operator running it now we get the value 16. so that's another way of working with math inside of bash the other way is the let keyword so we could say let answer be assigned this value and then we will echo out answer and running this and we'll surround this by quotes running it now and we get the value 16. So I don't use those too often, but you might run into those in the wild. That's all I got for the basic mathematic operations. There's probably a lot more to it than this, but this is the basics. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos. We'll continue to sharpen our knowledge. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.